guys, Nikki Novak here for Young Hollywood on the set of ABC's Castle. I had an interview to do, but apparently they died. So season six. Yes. When you were back in season one, did you? No, I think? didn't. No, never. You mm -hmm. weren't. You didn't have that sort of. No, because I can't even think that far out. It's just really, you know, humbling, and, and I'm honored to be able to do a season six. Twitter. Yeah. You tweeted uh -huh. that you think that the Raleigh Studios, believe it or not, Castle is a show. Uh huh. And we are shooting out a studio. We're they here? shoot out a studio. Yeah. Called Raleigh Studios. Raleigh. Haunted by the ghost of Ronald Reagan. <laughs> There, there are rumors that stage, um, we shoot on stages 1, 11, and 12. There are rumors that stages, uh, that stage 11 is haunted. And what, uh, why, and why Ronald Reagan, and I, why? Ron, Ronald Reagan's a fun guy to pick on, I don't know, he's not <laughs> around. Uh, we, we get to pick on the Gipper. Ready? Action. Oh, no, 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 please let me go, you don't know what you're doing. You know exactly what you're doing. No, listen, please, if you don't let me go. You have to because if I don't get out of here, billions of people are gonna die. Yeah, how are they gonna die? I don't know. I just know that they do. You look like a badass. Do I? Yeah, I feel right. like totally out of place right now. <laughs> wearing my dress. First things first, I know you do your own stunts on the show. Do you do all of them at this point, or do you as many as you can do? As many as I can. They won't let me do all of them. That's usually they wouldn't let me hang off of this building um, two seasons ago. Uh, they had a, a scene where my character was <clears throat> thrown off of a building and hung over the side of a building, and I really wanted to do that because they had it all safe and everybody was harnessed. Um, and you wanted to do it? See, I'd be the person that was like, no way do I want to do that. I hate heights. Yes. See, yes. but you know when you have a stunt team behind you, you know yes. that it's going to be super safe. Yeah. So if there's any ever a time to do something like that, it's this then. This is the time. Yes. It's not when you're at a fun park somewhere and you've never no. met the people before yeah, in your exactly. life. Exactly. Right. And they're like, oh, oops. As far as proposals go yeah. in life, have I been proposed to? No, I haven't. I wasn't asking, but if you're offering, you know, <laughs> you've never? You've never been proposed? No. No. This is weird. Why are we talking about I don't me? know. Have you been proposed to? You yeah. have. Yeah. And I said no. You did it! Yes. Ah. I said no, and I regret it. Was it a real no. proposal? Well, you regret it? I do. Wait, that's hold on. another conversation. She I'm doesn't supposed know. to be asking you the questions. <laughs> she regrets it. I do. If you don't know her phone number, call her mom. He's married. Oh, never mind. <laughs> don't call her mom. <laughs> well, as far as proposals yes. go, do you think like the elaborate proposal is cool? Yeah. Just in general, do you? Because what he did on the show was very simple. Right. It was a sit swing set. Like I hear all these different proposal stories. Right. And I don't know if that ever happened to me again. And I was to say yes this time. Like what? <laughs> what would be? I don't know. I think I'd want him to put some thought into it, but not right. too much. Yeah. What no. Well, I mean, I would like him to think about it for sure. Yeah. And I, I think that it should be a special moment for both people. So um, I wouldn't want it to be off the cuff. Right. You know, and not like I looks like I'm breaking up with you, but then I <laughs> on the show. This is all on the show. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So a little bit of thought. Oh yeah. No, a little bit. A lot of thought. This is yeah. a lifelong commitment. You better do it. Think about it, boy. I saw the video guys did tactical training together. Oh, you saw that one, yeah. I saw that. I saw the jumping over the car. I saw the getting yeah. out of the car. What is your What is your your best skill now at this point? Six seasons in. Paperwork. <laughs> that's my. That's my. Uh, I can. I can slap a picture of a suspect up on a murder board right. very well. Uh, I think. I mean, really, my best. I think I'm. A, I'm a pretty good actual like detective. I think I can walk into a crime scene and and see something. Uh, off. I think I can find evidence. So you could be a real life castle. You could go shadow the NYPD and sort of help them solve crimes. Yeah, I don't know if I'd want to shadow. I think I think they should probably just give me a badge and just throw you know. it out there. You just. In fact, I do it so well that they have me do it every episode. So really? that's what happens when you're, you're good at something. Are you like a one-take wonder too? Performance is punishing. Yeah. You know, they you do that really well. You're like slap, boom. You're I didn't even do it on my line. So you have a bit. Of, I know people have talked about your bromance on the show. Mm-hmm. 
But last season you had a little bit of a fight. There was one little fight scene. Last year? Last season? Was it last season or was it season four? You guys had a we bit had of a, a scuffle. Real, we had a fight at the end yeah. of, I think, season three. We had a real scuffle. Who was kicking whose ass in real life? Probably would have gotten a few shots in, but then he would have done some grappling thing and I would have been on the ground <laughs> in like a rear naked chokehold or something. <laughs> and then it would have been like, yeah, I'd be like, oh, yeah, submit, <laughs> submit. And I'd be like, okay. <laughs> Good. Just trying to kick or bite or always go for the groin. You know, I. I've studied martial arts and boxing and I still do and I think Seamus doesn't study that stuff. I could teach you all kinds of stuff. Really? Yeah, what can you teach me seated? Right now I'm really into jiu-jitsu and, and trying to okay. learn more about jiu-jitsu. So that's like a lot of, you know, being on the ground, rolling around. And we'll be cutting now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> on the flip side of that, the lover side, the bromance side of things. Right, right. Forget how to keep a romance alive. How do you keep a bromance alive? Six seasons into Castle. I mean, I, I can't remember the last time I got a real argument with a friend or a, yeah. or someone I was in a bromance with, which I think the only person I've been in a bromance with is Seamus. Truth is, truth be told, he's one of my best friends, so like now it's just sort of like, I mean, I, I spend like 12 hours a day with the guy, so yeah. I know his tastes. You know, because uh, I just accepted this word. Um, first, I was like, what do you mean, bromance? I buy him things, gifts. He buys me things, gifts. I, I, I'm considerate of his needs and things like that. So we, you're we take care of, of each other. You're thinking of the other person. Yeah, yeah, you absolutely. You think of them before you think of yourself. Absolutely. And when you're doing a scene, you collaborate and you have a talk, and it's, there's no egos involved. I think on screen, it really... Um, it helps our characters and drives our stories forward. You, you sort of say like, okay, what can we do best here? Or like, help me figure this out. Or how do I be funnier in this scene? He's always got lots of ideas about those. So we have a game for you. What's that? It's called Crime and Passions. Okay. Ready for it? Sure. All right. First question is, this is all relating to either crime, play on words really, but what is your biggest guilty pleasure? My biggest guilty pleasure would probably be um, creme brulee. <laughs> White chocolate. Oh, that was quick. Yeah. You didn't even have to think about no. that one. <laughs> Everybody else had to think. Did you were they? just like right on it. Then they're not telling you the truth. <laughs> that wasn't the truth. Um, question two. Tips for an office romance. I mean, Castle and Beckett tried to hide it for a long time. Do you hide it? Do you just come out with it? Tips for an office romance. Well, you on the like, show. Do you want to like let people know about it, yeah, or well, do you want to keep it quiet? Do you let them know, or do you keep it quiet? What do you think? Do you just put it out there, or do you keep it quiet? I think I think initially you have to keep it quiet. Yeah. I think it's probably better to hide it. Yeah. I think yeah. I think you make people uncomfortable if people. You're making out in the middle of. That definitely <laughs> that's gonna make them uncomfortable. The if you're working together and there's a lot of external influences. You don't need anyone else's information on a relationship that's just figuring itself out, you know? So I think for office romances, you just keep it quiet idea, for right? a little while, yeah. But it's a good idea. I think they are, yeah, sure. It office happens. romances are nice. Huh? You've had a lot of themes on the show, Hitchcock, Star Trek. What would be your dream theme? Uh, dream theme. Um, Is it the singing thing? <laughs> I, want, I want there to be a black hole uh, themed one. My dream theme would be um, probably like a, you know, a medieval theme. I don't like a movie crossover. Mime. Really? <laughs> can you do mime? <laughs> can you imagine the interrogation? Interrogate a mime. I can mime a little bit. Can you? That's very good. That's very good. That's really great. It was terrible. I'm not supposed to be good. I'm not the actor Sorry. here in the yes. equation. Sorry, yes. Okay, so mom, I love that. But you did act that. on our show once. I did. We should have you back again, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Sure. I love be just being fun. here as a, in any capacity. Yeah, it's hanging out. Yes. It's what actor, what one actor, I know you guys have had amazing guest stars on the show, but one actor you'd kill to have on the show? Robert Downey Jr. RDJ. RDJ. What actor would you... Yes, we have had incredible guest stars. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> what actor would you kill to have on the show? Daniel Day-Lewis. Uh, Christopher Walken on the show. I think it's that's been discussed since day one. But I wish uh, he wear the robe too. You know, like he does in Saturday Night Live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you want to take us out? Sure. What do I say? Hey, thanks for coming and hanging out with us here with Young Hollywood. Hey. Like that? I'm fired. She doesn't, they don't. <laughs> <laughs>